Welcome, Sanjay. Nice to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Sarah. Great to be on the show. Thank you. Uh, yeah, especially with an 18% surge pre-market in your shares. What, what is the AI story underestimated for you? You know, AI is a great story for us. It's uh, transforming the industry. Micron has strong products. In our fiscal fourth quarter, we delivered 93% year-over-year increase in revenue. Our fiscal year that we just ended, 62% growth in revenue. And of course, AI is a great driver. We achieved a record data center revenue and a record mix of data center revenue, which is only expected to be growing further in 25. Uh, we have multiple product lines here addressing the AI demand in data center. High bandwidth memory, where we shipped several hundred million dollars of revenue in fiscal 24, and expected to become multiple billions of dollars in 25. And high capacity DRAM, in addition to high bandwidth memory, another big growth driver for us, expected to become multiple billions of dollars in 25. And uh, data center SSDs, we hit a record $1 billion of revenue in fiscal fourth quarter alone, and this too will be multiple billions of dollars. So AI is a great story, frankly, not only in data center. As you look ahead at smartphone and PCs, AI-enabled smartphones and PCs are going to require more memory content. So as we go through calendar year 25, particularly accelerating in second half of calendar 25, yeah. you'll see smartphone and uh, uh, PCs also continuing to drive strong demand for me uh, memory. I mean, that, that also might come as a surprise because people were worried about the, the X, you know, server business, the smartphone and PC business, the cyclicality, the downturn, the high inventories of those products. So we addressed that yesterday in our call. Uh, we talked about that, yes, while the sell-in is somewhat slower because of some of the inventory that has been built in PC and smartphone for three main factors, really. First is expectation of tight supply and smartphone and PC customers uh, really built up some inventory to make sure that they have supply for the second important factor of AI-enabled phones and PCs that require more memory. And third, of course, taking advantage of the lower <laughs> prices that existed before in memory and building up inventories. We expect that by spring of 25, inventories will be in healthier place. And then again, going for, uh, forward through the rest of the calendar 25, we see that AI-enabled phones as well as AI-enabled PCs will be driving refresh cycles uh, in, in these end devices, uh, continue to drive uh, momentum, complementing the robust data center demand that we expect in 25. We are right. looking so at 2025 20, mm -hmm. to be a record revenue year with significant improvement in profitability for Micron. But also as you shift your focus and attention and CapEx into the, into the more profitable businesses with high demand, how does, the shift, how does the mix shift for you in terms of how big, for instance, the server business can get versus some of the others? Absolutely. Data center is the big driver of growth. Server is, um, you know, if you look at uh, training as well as high-end inference, they require five times more memory typically in, in AI servers. Um, so AI and data center is a big part of the growth, and our mix of revenue will be increasing. But with AI, and especially in the backdrop of a tight industry supply environment at the leading edge of the technology nodes, the setup is great for demand and supply in 2025, and that bodes well for a constructive financial performance, increasing the mix of our revenue toward higher profit pools. High bandwidth memory is a great example. It's a complex product, the most complex product that has been made in the memory industry yet. And Micron is leading with that product, best product with HPM, shifting that into increasing mix of our revenue in 25, and that's accretive to our growth and gross margins. So yes, I mean, this shift toward high value solutions is uh, uh, putting us in a strong position for constructive financial performance in 25.